And while students at Bemidji Middle School showed off some elaborate projects at today's science fair, the 6th, 7th and 8th graders were challenged to create some creative experiments. As Mel Meyer explains for this week's Golden Apple. Does it look like they put a lot of effort into it? The projects cover a variety of different areas. Anywhere from chemistry to physics uh, to computer science to engineering. In an effort to get students to apply the topics that they've been learning about in class. They've been pretty creative. I don't think I did something this creative in middle school. <laughs> this is a project show ideas created by the student. Creativity is just one of the things that the volunteer judges will be looking for and something that Carly Shore enjoyed in this Gobstopper experiment. The main thing that I look for is creativity. Any kid that really thinks outside the box and does a lot of experiments and different types of things, especially with numbers and a lot of different materials. Some of the projects were time consuming. We spent 16 and a half hours fishing. And at times appeared fruitless. We had free trials where there was no, where there were no bites whatsoever. But in the end, they were able to see some results. There's a very significant difference in using rattle baits over no rattle baits. Some were highly complex. Sydney Bryan used sodium citrate balls in solution simulating blood to see how they'd react. She wanted to help others like her grandpa who is on blood thinners. I just wanted to let him know and other people that are using blood thinners or that have hemophilia what is going on inside of their bloodstream. Max Harris says that he enjoyed putting together this experiment with some help from his dad. I thought it was pretty fun to build things and to construct them into boxes and test them. Students who are ranked first, second, and third in different subcategories will be going home tonight with plaques for their work. In Bemidji with this week's Golden Apple, I'm Mal Meyer, Lakeland News. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.